welcome back to Emerging YC. Today we're jumping in here in Brooklyn at the quarters of 227. But we're jumping in here with engine 310. Right now we're responding to a report of fire on the second floor. Or fire top floor of a multiple dwelling people trapped. We got three engine companies, two ladders, and an ambulance. So. See what we got when we get there. I catch two you in this. Alright, so we just laid in a line. From the uh, hydrant there. Two and then zero and zero. A lot easier way of doing it. We can just drive. Or I'm not sure which one it is because I'm not seeing any smoke. Okay, there we go. We've got smoke showing. I don't know if I'm gonna go to get these at all. Let's get them out the best we can. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's looking like it's gonna be this one right here. Possibly both of them. But it's gonna be both of them. We used to do what we call rapid deployment, which is basically where we get to stretch a line. It's pre connected, it automatically connects. And it's length of hose line. And it just automatically gets it out there for us. So. We're going to have to connect this pack right here. And then we're going to be able to charge our line right here. And we should have water. For some reason we don't, so I'm not entirely really sure what deals with it. So that's going to be right here, right there. And we should have water right now. Now they did say that there's people trapped, so we're going to try to get inside here. Um, we're going to try to move in. And see if we can find anything. Find anybody or anything. It's still looking pretty clear right now, so I'm not really entirely sure where the fire is. 
I don't see any smoke either. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask this guy to lay down. If I can, I don't. Okay, it looks like I can't. So we're going to just carry him out at this time, and then we're trying to get up to the roof and ventilate, I guess, because this time we can't really. There's no fire that's visible, but there is definitely smoke visible. So. We do have that. Um, we are going to need to drop that. And we're going to be able to carry this guy. We're going to pick him back up. And we're going to carry him over here to the ambulance. Which is right here. Um, and then we'll see what we got from here. So we'll just drop him like right here. Just so when we can get the stretcher out. It doesn't hurt anything. Except for launching him 17 feet. Which I guess I just like to do. Which is always fun. So we'll go ahead and drop him. And we're going to have to drag him back over here. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Just want to launch him. Definitely not what we want to do. I guess we're going to have to drag this over here next to him. And we're going to load him up. And we'll get him onto the monitor and such. And get there. But got him right on top of the dude. What do you mean? Okay, so maybe that's why, because it's showing him over there, when he needs to be over here. I think that's the issue, because it's glitching a little bit. No, because I'm just not able to get him on it at all. Which is really strange. He has a pulse. I'm not sure why I am unable to get him onto it. It's really weird. Cause he's good on everything. Um, see, this is, I, I don't know what the deal is with Damon. Not really too sure. But we don't have time to keep messing with this. What we're going to do. So we're just going to have to leave that for right now. Um, and we're gonna have to get up to the roof and ventilate and see what we can do um, because at this time we can't just continue to waste time because we don't want this fire to progress we definitely don't want that um, so that's not what I wanted either okay we're gonna get up to the roof here it looks like the fire Looks like there's a lot of black smoke, so it, there's definitely fire, and it looks like it's going to be in the ceiling. It's not going to be visible to us until we start taking down the ceiling. So we might actually... We're going to have to probably stretch a line up to the third floor. Once we get this cut open, we're going to be able to... Hopefully... Get it drugged down. We're going to be able to get it knocked down enough to where we can just go to the third floor and we can just quickly get it knocked in there we're going to cut a couple over just so we have that extra if we need it because um, I have a feeling we're probably going to need it so we're just going to start taking this stuff down at this time and we'll just go from there and see what we can do looking like the fire is just contained to the roof, which is good. It's just contained to the ceiling. Which is a good thing. <coughs> so, we don't have to worry about 
that. Um, what I am gonna have to worry about those. Trying to get that knocked down. Okay, now we're good. So now all we have to do is just go and stretch our line to the third floor, which is gonna be right there. It's gonna be directly above that, and then we're just gonna be able to quickly put that out because we've already knocked it through. So it's a through and through right now, so we just have to take our line up there and get it knocked that way, and then we'll be good. Um, so. Let's go ahead and get inside with our line here. We'll charge it once we get up there. We'll go inside to the third floor. That's where it's going to be. We'll see if we can get this knocked here. Make sure it hasn't spread anywhere else. Okay, so it's going to be this floor right here. I think just opening it up made it to where it put itself out, which is what we want, because then now we don't have to do this. So we're just going to drown the area though, just to make sure. I don't want any hot spots. I don't want anything to reignite over here. So. Okay, well, we're going to get this packed up and we'll see what else we can get. Okay, so while we're packing up from that, I call for an alarm activation in an auto store. So it looks like we do have smoke showing. So hopefully we'll be able to quickly. I hooked up to a hydrant there. So we'll be able to lay in again. Alright, and then we're gonna do a rapid deployment. Don't want this all bundled up here. Trying to keep it stretched out. There we go. Go grab that. Grab that. Need to stretch all this out. Okay. And we'll be able to charge it here. Okay, we got this. We're going to go and pack it up and see what else we can get. 